All right, spoiler warning, boysioners and boysionettes. If you have not seen the latest episode, The Fear of the Walking Dead, why the fuck are you here? Get the fuck out of here. Go get caught up and then come back and join us because um, you know I don't do spoiler-free reviews, so you know this is your warning. When these fingers disappear, you better be gone because I'm going to get into spoilers, so get out of here. Now, um, I honestly wish... I'm just going to say I honestly wish that this episode never happened. They could have just jumped right to Charlie and Jake and the whole Fly, Fly 82 um, story, part of the story. But um, simply because the group left empty-handed. No, nobody from that island came with them. Now, if one of them came with them, or at least Harry came with them, then yeah, then excuse me then that then I can understand why this this episode was relevant to the story but I mean it still kind of is because they're at that point where they're like we need to help people oh look look at that someone's there and and um and someone sh you know when they see the light shining at in, on at the house it's like it's like it's like it you know it's like it echoes back in season one where they're in quarantine and Chris sees the someone shining the light you know like over in the house or whatever it's i mean it's sort of like that thing like okay um you know that's one way to get atten you know the the character's attentions of this show just shine the light just shine the light on them like this like <laughs> so um yeah uh oh man i mean when right when nick found out about those pills and then Man, that shit could have been avoided. I mean, like, seriously, like, I assume that they did confront, you know, they did confront Melissa about the pills and whatnot. At least I think they should have. They, sh you know, like, they, we should have, we should have seen that, you know, at the beginning of them talking to her. It's like, okay, we'll take them. I mean, we we saw the pills, and right when she came downstairs, you know, talking to them, she should have had the pills in her possession. No, so no one can grab him. That could have been avoided. But no. I mean, Will, and then you lost Willa. You know, like, you know, she ate one of them. And, uh. So, I mean, some of you may blame Nick. You know, like, for, like, for, because Willa saw the pills and whatever. No. No, 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 no. Um, you can either blame George for putting him there, for having him there to begin with. Or you can blame Melissa for not fucking grabbing them like after, you know, after she came downstairs. Or right before she came downstairs talking to Travis and, and Madison. I mean, come on. I'm I'm torn between blaming Melissa for not grabbing them and not holding on to them. Like, you know what, fuck George, fuck his ego. Um, these are my kids. Um they're you know, I don't want them I want them to live. I want them to, you know, I don't want them getting this up. They're so, blah, 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 getting themselves killed. So, I'm tempted to either blame her for not grabbing the pills or George for fucking putting them there. I'm going to blame Melissa. You know, it's fucking Melissa's fault for not grabbing them. I mean, it didn't have to be like that. That could have been easily avoided. Now, um, and also, um, I'm, you know, Travis should have backed off when he saw Chris, you know, popping the dead through the fence where Seth was teaching him how to do that. He shouldn't have, you know, he shouldn't have come up to him like, oh, Chris, what are you doing now with Chris? I mean, like, just back off, dude. I mean, you know, I get it. You know, I'm not saying he, he had to like it, but he should, this should have had a moment where he just tempted to walk up to him and then he just backs off because this is the world they live in now. I mean, like, where everybody has to learn how to defend themselves. I mean, we can't we can't have any dead weight in the group. I mean, you know, we got it's got to be somebody. You know, you you got everyone has to learn how to defend themselves. And um, so you ought to be happy that your son is learning how to do that, where you don't have to watch his you know watch his ass every, you know like the entire time twenty four seven. You know, wouldn't you have you wouldn't you rather have him being you know knowing how to defend himself against the dead at least I mean come on Travis come on dude get it together bro <laughs> but um I mean yeah I mean like 
you know, I mean, this episode is basically pointless, you know, like, be, simply because they didn't leave with anybody from the island. I mean, they should have at least had Harry with them or, you know, like, were, or had Seth, where they convinced Seth to get on the yacht with them. And then that creates more stuff for us to talk about, like, can they trust Seth? Can they trust them? Did getting Seth on that boat, was that a mistake? Even though you're trying to keep people from getting killed, but was getting them on that boat the right thing to do? You know? I mean, they could have done that, but no, we didn't get we didn't get any of that. They didn't get any of that. I mean, if if I were doing the show, I would have had it like this. Let's have Seth and Harry get on the boat with them, and then create this whole little um thing like. Like, could you trust Seth? Could you trust him? <laughs> you know? But, um, yeah, um, and Strand, I mean, who was the, who the fuck was he talking to? Just raising more questions for that dude. I mean, like, man, <laughs> like, why was he in quarantine to begin with? You know, that was, those are good, you know, good breakdowns from Lou Diamond Phillips on, on Talking Dead. Like, why was he in quarantine? How did he get himself in there? And my thing is, like, why are why we so eager to get, you know, Nick and his family un, under his wing? And yet he's telling, and then for every everybody else, everyone else outside that family, he's like, nope, fuck you. You're on your own. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they should have they just jumped right to um, to Charlie in the Fight for A2 story. You know, that part of the story. You know, if they weren't going to bring Seth and Harry on board... They should have just scrapped this episode all together and just jumped right to, you know, Charlie and Jake. Seriously. That's how I feel about it. So, um, I'm not going to do any chair spins on this episode for that For that being said. You know, it was good. I enjoyed it and stuff. But the ending was like, ah, uh, come on. I mean, they should have gone on board with them, you know, to create some more, more speculation, you know? But no, we don't, we don't get that. But oh well, I mean you know um, it did have good good points there, and it looks like um, Daniel's planning to take over uh, Abigail. So do you think he should? Do you, do you think if put yourself in Daniel's shoes, would you take Abigail away from Strand, or would you just um, be like take your chances with him? Like well, he did take us on his yacht when we didn't. He didn't have to. So you know, let me know in the comment section what do you think of that. And um, do you th um, and also do you think Seth and Harry should have got on the on board with them because they're pretty much dead already? <laughs> I just said the name of a Walking Dead episode. <laughs> um, you know, supplies are gonna run out soon, and you know, or eventually, you know, and then where are they gonna look? I mean, that was their way out. But um, do you think they should have gotten on to the boat? You know, that would have made more. The, the episode the more relevant if they if they left with them Seth and Harry or do you think it was better that they stayed behind let me know in the comment section and um do you think um or do you think they should have just jumped right to Charlie you know like you know with with the way this episode ended I think I, I think so <laughs> if you if you weren't gonna if you weren't if you had no intentions of having anyone from that island coming on to the Abigail then you should have just jumped right to Charlie and just scrapped this episode all together. But yeah, that's that's my take on it. So yeah, if you enjoyed this review, thumb up the video, make sure you click subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, y'all. <laughs>